ओम ज्ञानतृंद से ज्ञानाजनशलाकया चक्षुरमिल तस्म श्रीगुर नम वंदेह श्रीगुर श्रेयुतपदकमल श्रीगुरून वैष्णवांश श्रीरूप्रजात सह गणरघुनाथन्वित तम सजीव साध्वत सागधूत पिजन सहित श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्यदेव श्रीराधापादान सह गणलिता श्री विशाखान्विता हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंध दीन बंध जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका कांता राधा कांता नमस्ते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदवनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरे प्रिय नमो महावदान्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायिने कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम्ने गौरत्षे नम पंचतत्वात्मक कृष्ण भक्तस्वक भक्ता भक्ताभ्यम नमा भक्त शक्तिक श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंदीद्वैता गदाधर श्रीवासवी गौर हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जन्माद से यदितरत चाथ सुभिजस्वराट तेने ब्रह्म हृदय आदिकव मुह्यूर तेजो वारी मृदा यथा विनिमय यृसर्गो मृषा धामना स्वेन सदा निरस्तुभक सत्यम परम धीमहे नारायण नमस्कृत नरच नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर स्वस्तस्त विश्व खल प्रसीदता ध्यात भूता शिव मिथोधिया मनश्च भद्रम भजता दधोक्ष जय आवेशता नो मतिरप्य हेतुकी रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवत कैंटो टेन चैप्टर थर्टी नाइन वर्स नंबर थर्टी वन सो वी रेड येस्टर्डे दैट कृष्णा ही इज रेडी टू लीव एंड गोपीज दे ऑल गैदर्ड एंड दे एक्सपेक्टेड दैट ही विल स्टॉप दे आर ब्लेमिंग ब्रह्मा ब्लेमिंग their own fate akrura ultimately krishna also but nothing worked so they were hoping that somehow he will stop he will come back but there was no possibility everybody started leaving 
so this besides that this statement with the spoke shows their love the prema the intensity they have for krishna it also shows that how as sadhakas we have to work like yesterday this question was asked that we have we understand by grace yes grace is there but we have to work to our best capacity and not just depend on the grace we depend on the grace but we also do our own effort as krishna says in bhagavad gita tasmat sarveshu kaleshu maam anusmare yudhyach so we have to remember krishna which means we have to not become proud that i am doing so much effort or start blaming or finding fault so we have to keep in mind we have to remember that he is ishwara he is the ultimate controller but at the same time we have to fight fight means when you have to fight your mind is not going here and there otherwise you will be killed which means that we have to act as if it's a question of life and death that's what it means and this is how we saw this is how gopis were speaking that let's go and stop what is there if the seniors they will stop us or throw us out from the house let them do it because what is the point of having family possessions possessions wealth if krishna is not there and if krishna is there everything is there that's why when duryodhana and arjuna went to dwarka before kurukshetra war krishna said that i will divide myself into my army and myself so arjuna chose krishna although it was war and most useful is the army and that is also krishna's army narayani most powerful but he says no so that is the viveka and also the determination and faith that's what we have to have so gopis were depicting that that without krishna there is nothing everything in this and tame duranta param how are we going to pass these nights there will be just darkness kopya katham nanu pati tare me tamo duranta because without krishna it is all darkness so all the krishna paksha and there is a sukla paksha sukla paksha is the bright fortnight krishna paksha is the dark fortnight but you want to be in krishna paksha you want to be on the side of krishna that's where the real light is so that's what they said and now sri sukadev goswami he describes that ultimately when they saw that nothing is working they cried श्रीशुक उवाच एवं ब्रुवाण विरहातुराभृश व्रजस्त्रिष्ण विषक्तमस विसृज्जलज्जा रुदुस्म सुस्वर गोविंद दामोदर माधवेति सो श्री सुखदेव गोस्वामी सैड दैट इन दिस वे द गोपीज हु वर स्पीकिंग टू ईच अदर एंड दे वर वेरी मच एजिटेटेड ड्यू टू द फीलिंग ऑफ सेपरेशन so this rajastriya whose minds were absolutely fixed on krishna krishna vishakta manasah so they gave up their modesty and they all cried and this is also how one experiences in bhakti that you go on making effort ultimately you have to just give up all your pride or hankara or anything that it will happen by my effort and then only success comes so rudu sama suswaram but they cried in unison so earlier also when krishna is left and they sang gopi geet after that they all got together and they cried there also it was said rudu suswaram 
and then Krishna appeared. So it seems that they are thinking that if we cry, then maybe he will, his heart will melt, he will come back. So they gave up their bashfulness because of family relations, society, they did not want people to know this, that they are in love with Krishna. And therefore they were holding it. But now it beyond it went beyond their tolerance. They could not contain, therefore they cried. And this is a famous statement, Govinda Damodar Madhavati. Bilva Mangal Thakur has written very beautiful poetry which ends, every sloka ends in Govinda Damodar Madhavati. So this is Stotra, Damodar Stotra, Govinda Damodar Stotra. And if you want to listen to it, then Pandit Jasaraj, he died recently, very beautiful singing. Govinda Madhar Madhavati. So he has also, there are many slokas in that, but he has these two slokas. Kamsasya Dutena Yadaiva Nitao Vindavanat Vasudeva Sunu Prurodha Gopi Bhavnasya Madhya Govinda Madhar Madhavati. So this, probably he is writing about Radha, because he uses Singular case that when Kamsa's Duta he was carrying Krishna and Balaram, two sons of Vasudev. Then the gopi inside the house he cried, Go in the Dhamma Dharma Dhamma. And then there is the next one Akrurayane Duvan Sanatam Sangachamanam Matharam Niriksha. Uchur Vyogat Kil Gopa Bala Govinda Dhamadhar Madhavet. So this is about all the gopis. Then when Krishna was sitting in the chariot, then he who is the master of the Yadu dynasty was leaving. So while seeing him leaving, all the gopis they cried in separation, go in the Dhamma Dharma Dharma So very beautiful Stotra Bible woman. So Sri Vishnu Chakurti says, Evam vilapya Krishnam rathad avtaretum samhata eva yada gantum pravitta tado uru stambhadi vigna vasad asamarthya sati kevlam rurudura eva tiya. So he says that in this way, when all the gopis, they were lamenting and they had gathered together to stop Krishna from going. So they all gathered, but they were not able to move. So yada gantum pravitta tadeva stambhadi vidna vashad. So then they got stambha, they got stunned, they were not able to move. They got this sattvic bhav of stambha and could not move towards the chariot. So therefore vigna vasad, this became as a vigna, an obstacle. Asamarthya sati kevlam rurudu. So then they only cried loudly. Evam niti. So this is being described here by Shukdev. Virha Pidya Aturaha Ekamapi Padam Gantum Spashtakshartaya Bhaktum Cha Asamartha. So because of the intense distress caused by separation, they were not able to move or speak clearly. So Padam means foot, footstep is also called Pada. Pada also is a word. So both they got stambhita. The stambha happened to both padas. 
pada in the sense of moving and pada in the sense of speaking so they could not say anything except they said hey govinda so he gives different meanings to these three words ityanena asmakam ga manas chakshuradi indriya vritti gavihi parasahasra vinda labhasva so go also means the senses and senses are how many senses are there now the ten sure well here it says thousands <laughs> 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 no, how many you have? Five plus one. Six. Yeah. He says. He says ten. Five says knowledge acquired senses and five uh, working senses in the mind. Now you say eleven. <laughs> no, the mind is not really a sense. So in Nyaya they only say six. in vedanta we say 11 so 11 because mind is included here so manas chakshur indriya vritti gavi so senses are also go go means cows because go means anything gasti the go that which moves senses are also moving mind is also moving right antast koti sat sat vatsar sampragamya vayo ratha manaso मुनिपुंगवानम सो माइंड गोज वेरी ग्रेट स्पीड सो इट इज ऑल्सो गो अर्थ इज ऑल्सो कॉल गो बिकॉज इट्स ऑल्सो मूविंग इट्स सो इट इज कॉल गो इट्स नॉट दैट इट्स स्टेबल सो द सनलाइट इट्स कॉल सो गो दे ऑल्सो मूव सो देर मेनी थिंग्स विच आर कॉल गो सो मन चक्षुर इंद्रिय vritti so all the vritti the movements of all the mind the external senses these are also cows or these are also go therefore there are thousands of them parasasra means thousands and thousands so it says that you win the with there are four with dhatus in sanskrit so one of them is with labhe with li labhe so govinda means that you win the here is like to have them means have all our senses in other words by saying govinda they are indicating that all our senses are fixed on you that's what it signifies mind and all the senses means our senses are only for govinda so that's means they are govinda fied tvat sanga eva gachanti riti eta so the indication is that our senses they are going with you only because what are we going to do here without the use of the senses is only in service of krishna otherwise it's a misuse of the facility and that misuse brings suffering so savai mana krishna padarvinde vachan se vaikuntha gunanu varnani and this maharaj engaged all his senses he is given as an example how he all the being a king he used all his senses in service of krishna so that's what gopis are indicating by calling him as govinda govinda also signifies that he was given abhishek by indra right So Indra, Indra also has interesting meaning. In the Upanishad, Indra is also used for Atma. So he is Govinda, means he is the master of life. So Kripya Grihane, please accept them. Swiya Mano Vrishbhendra Na Saha Sangamya Raksha. so the meaning is that your mind so they are comparing their senses to the cows and krishna's mind to the bull so it says that please protect these cows 
because bull as a male is supposed to be the protector just like you have group of elephants then there is one chief elephant which takes care so when we our cows go now our uttama has become old otherwise when our cows go he is on the back side he is like the leader taking care now he is on the back side because he is slow in walking <laughs> but previously he was the leader he had that bhav that i am the leader of this group so that is called here as swaya manovrish bhendra and that your mind is like the ruler of our senses which are like the cows so he is the vrish bhendra so protect them natu upekshasva please do not neglect them do not be indifferent to them so in other words our senses should remain engaged in your service because although we we call our senses our senses but our senses are not in our control so we pray to krishna that please engage our senses in your service that is the significance when they say that rakshan atu pekshasva protect them what is the protection of senses means they are used properly otherwise they will run here and there they will go to visha sense material sense objects so their protection is that they are used in krishna seva देहास्तु अस्माक अयोग्या दुर्भग सो वन मे से वाय ओनली द सेंस इज एंड नॉट द बॉडी सो इट सेज दैट बॉडी इज अनेबल टू गो एंड दैट इज द मिसफॉर्चून सेज आर दिस बॉडी इज नॉट क्वालिफाइड नॉट एलिजिबल टू सर्व यू देर फॉर it is our misfortune that it cannot go atraiva panchatvam prapshyanti yadi tvam nagamishyasa iti vigyapana so they are informing krishna that if you will not return then this body will die panchatvam means that it is made of the panch tatvas and they will all mix back into their elements when somebody dies then body decomposes and all the five tatvas go back into their source so that is called panchatva another word for death kincha stri vadhan jigrikshasi ched grihana and then moreover saying that you want to accept the sin of killing women so take it now because we cannot live without it it is not possible so yasya premna dam bandhanam api swikritvan abhus tam matram shri vajeshrim majahi so the next address they use for krishna is damodara so damodar he got the name when he was bound by mother yashoda so this is indicating that you got bound by the love of krishna right this drishtva parishraman krishna asit kripya asit swabandhane so krishna was bound by kripaya kripya asit swabandhane so kripa here mean is love also for the mother so he says that yasya ha premna dam bandhanam api swikritvan abhu that you accepted even bondage out of love of yashoda so now are you going to leave her she bound you when you are small now you are grown up 
so will you not remember that that how much she loves you so please don't leave her even if you leave us please don't leave your mother you are very affectionate to her and she is in love with you that's why you are bound by her yadi parasvastvam na ayasyasi tada sa sarvatha marishyati iti so if you will not return day after tomorrow because it will take in one day next day was the wrestling match so you can come that day also but at least next day you should be back so if you will not return day after tomorrow then certainly she will die matri hatyam tu magrihana so earlier they said that you can accept our death you because you don't care for us but at least don't think of killing your mother how can you do that he damodar iti padena vigyapna so this is indicated by the word damodar and then madhava he madhava iti त्वस्माकं मा खलु धव किंतु सखा भवसी यदि धवो अभविष्य भविष्य तदा अस्मासु तब सत्व संभवात् सो माधव मीन्स माया धव वन हु इज द हस्बैंड ऑफ लक्ष्मी दैट इज द मीनिंग और वन हु कम्स इन मधु डायनेस्टीज ऑल्सो माधव बट हियर दे आर यूजिंग द वर्ड मा एंड धव इज सेपरेटली सेपरेटली so dhava means husband and ma means not so you are not our husband ma dhava but at least you are our friend so yadi dhavo abhavishyas tadasma su tav svatu sambhavat so if you were our husband then we belong to you then you can kill us but now you are not our husband so you have no right to kill us so therefore don't kill us swavastu nam palane jwalane va naivati dosha praps if something is owned by you then you can do whatever you want to do with it right you can destroy it you can protect it because it's yours no one can say anything but we are not so therefore don't do this this is not working in the general terms so someone could call yeah. kintu vayam pardravyani bhavam atav asman nas nibandhanam dosham mange krithai ke vigyap and because we don't belong to you we are not married to you that's the meaning of parkiya right we are not sukhiyas so therefore you cannot kill us like this and if you do that you will get the dosha the sin of killing us so please don't do that स्त्रीनामेवं स्त्रीना उदिते सवतरी यथ अक्रूरश्चोदयास कृतमेत्रादिको रथम सो वेन द लेडीज वर् क्राइंग लाइक दैट बिकॉज दे हैव नॉट लेफ्ट येट स्टिल इन द हाउस बिकॉज अक्रूर ही वॉज बिजी इन द मॉर्निंग सो स्त्रीनामेवं रुदंती नाम उदिते सवतरी यथ because when they got the news they came there and whole night they spent and now the sun came up so udite savitari okay now the sun came up and they were crying like this then akrura he started his chariot after performing his morning sandhya sakrut metradiko ratham chodiyamas so now is the 
final time of separation has come. So Sthriyunamiti Anadara Shashti. So here there should have been Saptami Vibhakti. Sthriyushu Rudantishu Savitari Uditayatha Akrures Ratam Yodhya Masa. It should have been like that. So why Shashti is used instead of Saptami? So there is a rule which says Anadara Shashti. That when it is Sati Saptami, seventh case is used, but if it is happening out of disregard, then sixth case is used. So, the uh, example is given by Jiva Swami Harinam. I think it is Bandhunam Rodhatam Mathuramgata, something like that. And while the, because previously when people used to come to Vrindavan, few hundred years ago, somebody became a sadhu and even came for pilgrim, the family people will cry because it's not coming back. There is no chance of seeing him again. So therefore, Rodhataha Mathuram Gata. So when everybody was crying, he went to Mathura. So that is in another, means he did not care for them. Because if you care, you will not live, right? If you want to take to spiritual life, you have to become indifferent to some people. <coughs> Otherwise, you will not. So here, they are saying that Strinam iti anadara shashti. Then the Strinam, the shashti vibhakti is used in the disregard for them means Akrura is leaving, not caring for the ladies crying, the gopis are crying, he did not bother about it. That is what is signified. It is difficult to translate it in English, because it is only understood from the Karaka. There is no word like that which shows that he disregarded them. Sabho Mataraha Shamadhvam Paradhinasya Rajasevakasya Mama Pradham Esho. So he could have said like that. Akrura, if he was empathetic, if he had compassionate empathy or even cognitive empathy. Right? Now you are expert in empathy. So he should have spoken like this, that, Oh, mothers, please forgive me. I am not independent. I am servant of Kamsa. So I cannot do anything. I have to take Krishna. I have been ordered. So please forgive me because I am just doing my duty. He could have said like this. So I am a Rajasevaka. I am a servant. Mama Pradham Esho Aham Eva Krishna Maniya Samarpashani. It is my offense and therefore I take this upon me that I will bring him back. So he could have said like that, then gopis would have been pacified that okay, here is he is a elderly person, he is king's servant, so we can trust his words. He is taking Krishna, he will bring him back. But he did not say this. Iti Ashwasanam Karanam Akarnam Eva Anadara. So this is the Anadara, this is the disrespect or disregard which he showed to the gopis that he did not speak anything like this. And it is for this that he has to pay the price. So in Bhagavatam, says na bhajanti avjananti sthanat bhrashta patanti yada. So it is not that you give respect, that is only respect. Sometimes not giving respect is also disrespect. Disrespect doesn't have to be some positive action to disrespect somebody. But sometimes not doing some good action also becomes disrespect. So somebody is a respectable person and you don't Respect him, that is a disrespect. You are not disrespecting. But not respecting also becomes disrespect. 
so here it is was his job his duty responsibility seeing so many women standing there crying he could have spoken one minute to them that would have been nice but he did not do that so this is the another here that's why he says that this aswasana akaranam eva another akaranam not doing not giving solace to them itself is a disrespect he did not disrespect them physically he did not do anything like that so ateva ata eta danadar lakshana aparadha phalam akrurasya samantak prasange so this became an offense on akrura and therefore he suffered for this later on so in hari bhakti vilas also it is described that if you see vaishnava you don't greet him that is also counted as offense so that is described here he says that etad anadara lakshana aparadha phalam so this aparadh this offense which is in the form of being disrespectful he got its result when samantak prasange in the story of samantak mani which will come later on so what was the result krishna vichheda dukham dwarka tyagam duryasho varanasi vasam cha bhavuka bhakta vishesha kechin manyant so some this is the explanation he is not saying it himself but maybe sanatan goswami says or some others they say that he has to suffer separation from krishna because you know the story he has to leave dwarka he ran away with the money so dwarka tyagam gave up his own house residence duryasa he got infamy and then he has to live in banaras so maharaj always used to make some kind of sarcastic remark about varanasi was he says offensive people go and live there <laughs> many times he used to say this <laughs> says prabhu apradi log banaras jate <laughs> so varanasi was <laughs> he must have got it from his commentary of sanatan is not sacred he says varanasi vasam cha bhavuk bhakta vishesha kechin manyante so he says those who are bhavuk bhaktas they think like this sakrita matram mitra devatyam dehikam tadadikam snan sandhya upasnadikam yena sa so this word krit matra is also interesting word in this verse so generally it is said that he did his sandhya vandan etc but actually what it is related is that all our senses they have their devatas like the devata of hand is indra right devata of nose is aswani kumara or no aswani kumara for the eyes is surya devata so anyway for the place of excretion it is mitra varuna they are the devata so krit matra means that he did his morning <laughs> job then snan sandhya vandan etc that's why he says dahikam he says matram mitra devatyam he says that mitra devata the activity is related with mitra devata so that is dahik the works which you have to do to clean your body in the morning so he did that so this is a very polite way of speaking it's interesting how what a what a polite word is used here krit matrik krit maitra adik and adi is there tad adikam means so after that you take shower and then you do sandhya upasana agnihotra everybody has to do so generally it is prescribed not to leave before sunrise if you have to travel don't travel before that because if you travel where will you do your sandhya vandan so previously people did not travel 
स्वत्र गोप विलापाद विनमग्न संपूर्ण चेतसत्वादेव मुनिना तात्कालिक ब्रजेश्वरी विलाप अवर्णनम की वैष्णव तोषण सो हियर वाई सुखदेव गोस्वामी डिड नॉट स्पीक एनी थिंग अबाउट मदर यशोदा सी ऑल्सो मस्ट हैव बीन क्वाइट ग्रीवियस डिस्ट्रेसफुल सींग हर सन लिविंग so there is no description here he did not say a word about her so he explains he says that sukhdev goswami when he was describing this and we also read that that he was very sympathetic towards gopis so he became so absorbed <coughs> in the description of the distress or lamentation of the gopis gopi vilap vilapad vinimagna sampurna chet so his mind was totally absorbed in that so therefore he could not describe anything about yashoda so tatkalik vrajeshwari vilap avarnanam this is stated in vaishnav toshni by sri sanatan goswami dhanur mahotsav darshan sotkanth mana balkoyam svapitra saheva yati यथा समय पिता भोजिष्यम पितुरंक सुखम सहिष्यम एक दिन तत्र स्थि परस्व पुनः स्वपित्र सह आयाशिया कातृचिता देन ही इज एक्सप्लेनिंग दैट यशोदा वॉज थिंकिंग लाइक दिस दैट ही इज वेरी ईगर टू सी दिस फेस्टिवल इन मथुरा सो चिल्ड्रन आर वेरी excited if they have to go to just like children have to go to disneyland or something mm-hmm. right they are excited to go there so he is very excited to go to mathura they have never gone out of raj and this is the first time they will go to city and see the festival so therefore he is so utkant mana he is very very eager and she is thinking of krishna as a balaka like a small child and he is going with his father anyway so he will go with him and then he will eat he will take care of him so yatha samayam pitrai ve bhojishyamana so nand maharaj will feed him when it is time for eating so there is not much to worry and pitur anke ve sukham sahishyamana at night he will sleep in his lap because for them he is just a small boy and he is not grown up and then he will stay there one day and then today they are leaving tomorrow he will stay there day after tomorrow they will be back so the paraswa punasva pitra saheva yashati so day after tomorrow he will return back with his father so what is there to worry in it so much so this is also that sukhdev goswami has not described it so much पुरंध्री भीर गोपी गोपैश नंदादी मुहुर आश्वासित आयाश्य तदानी तदा अनतिशोक अन्नी प्राह सो डिफरेंट कमेंटेटर्स हैव गिवन डिफरेंट ही इज गिविंग लिटिल ही सेज द अदर द लेडीज पुरंध्री द फॉरेस्ट लेडीज हू कम टू डू सम सेवा सो दे वर ऑल्सो पैसीफाइंग इज दैट डोंट वरी ही विल कम इज गोइंग विथ फादर लाइक दैट also the elderly gopis nand maharaj was also giving solace to her that i am with him why are you so much worried so muhur aswashitas taya tasya tada anati shoka so many people have consoled yashoda ji mata and therefore she did not express much grief this is the opinion of some other commentators so that's why there is nothing about her here gopastam anva sajjanta nandadyah shaktai statah adai upayanam bhuri kumbhan goras samhritan so we already read that nand he has already moved the chariot and in the chariot was akrura krishna and balram no one else and then the cowherd people 
added by Nanda Maharaj, they followed in the carts with bulls. So, very nice scene. So, previously in the villages, you will see this, especially when there is a marriage party going. So, marriage parties used to go in bullocks, bullock carts. So you decorate the bullocks, put these bells in their neck, put nice cloth on them, oil the horn, they are given ghee to drink. So there you make these marks. So bulls were decorated because they are also going in the marriage party. You know? It's like when you go in marriage party and you dress nicely. So decorate the cart also. So it used to be big and you move slowly so everybody is joking, playing, talking. And children were there. So sometimes they will go for Ganga Snan like that. So they are going because coward people also went to remember they went to Kurukshetra. Later on they have not but it will be described. So they went there not by chariots, by bullock carts. So it will take few days to reach there from here. So Nandadya, so headed by Nanda Maharaj, they followed them. Gopas Tam Anvasajanta. So coward people headed by Nanda Maharaj, they followed the chariot of Akrura. But chariot is going to move very fast. The car doesn't move that fast. Bulls walk slowly. And they have taken various types of gifts, Upayanam Bhuri. Adai. So what are the various types of gifts? Kumbhan, Gaurasa, Samritan. So they had many many pots full of Gaurasa, ghee, butter, yogurt, milk, etc. So that's what they carried. So there is no comment on this. Gopyasya daitam krishnam manuvrijya nuranjita Pratyadesham Bhagavata Kangshan Tyaschavata Sthire. So then he again describes gopis, that how they felt. So gopya, the gopis, Krishnam Anuvrajya Anuranjita. So Daitam Krishnam Anuvrajya. They were walking behind Krishna's chariot. And they felt little happy. Why is that? Because they were hoping that Krishna is going to say something to them. He was looking at them and they expected that he will speak. So like that in the chariot, in the beginning it's not moving very at a great speed, it's just slowly. So Pratyadesham Bhagavataha Kangsham Tyascha Utasthire. So they moved behind and then they stood hoping that he would say something. So Anuranjitaha Krishnena Rathasthaneva Pashimabhi Mukhi Bhuya Svapreshi Nam Nirgachataha Prana Nalaksha Bhoho Pranaik Valva Makhidita. Eshohametan Vanchit Vayusmat Sannidhim Eshyami. Ityartha Dhrotakena Nirikshnena Kinchid Anandita. So here one word is used in this sloka which is unusual and that is Anuranjita. Means they felt little delighted or pleased while they were following Krishna's chariot. So why suddenly this change of mood happened? It has to be described. The sloka does not say anything. We saw that they were crying, right? Rurudusa Swaram Gopiyam. And now suddenly the word Anuranjita has come. How is this? So the yeah, commentator has to stretch his buddhi to explain. So he says that Krishna, he was sitting on the chariot only. And then he turned his head back. The chariot is going in the direction of Mathura. So he turned back and then he looked at the gopis. And not only he looked at the gopis, but he saw that 
their life was coming out from them. So Svapreshi Nam Nirgachata Prana Nalaksha. So then he's as if he was speaking to them. He said, Bho Pranaik Vallabha. He said, Oh my dear gopis who are my life. Do not grieve. Ma khidyata. Esho aham etan vanchetva yusmat sannidhi meshyami. That look, I am going to trick these people, this Akrura, and I will come back. I will trick all of them and I will return. So this is of course, this is the dream of the gopis. Earlier also they were thinking like that. So, he puts it in the commentary. So, Yusmat Sannidhim Eshyami, I will come and have your association. So, they are thinking that this is what Krishna wants to say. He is not saying anything. And obviously he cannot say anything now, because he is sitting with Balram and Akura. How can he speak like this in their company? It is not possible. But the way he is looking at them, because it's not that Krishna does not have heart for them. So they think that this is what he wants to say and therefore they felt a little pleased by seeing him in this mood. Tatascha Urvadi Jadye Kinchin Nivrite Sati Gopaschaiti Yatha gopa anande na ratha manu vrajanti smeta tha gopiyasya daita manu vrajya pratyadesham cha kaankshante avtasthiri. So earlier it was said that they got stunned, they could not move, right, the stambhita. So he says that now, little bit, it was relaxed, so they moved little following the chariot. And some other coward people were also walking. Because bullock carts don't walk, move that fast. So sometimes when there is a bullock cart, you also walk with it. You are sitting, you get bored sitting, you start walking with it. Or you walk for some time, then you sit down. So then some cowherd people were also walking. Gopa anandena ratha manumurajanti tatha gopya daita manumurajya. So the gopis also started walking. And they were expecting. Then after some time they expected that he will say something. And they waited for that. Nayana krita ma krita maashvasnam yatha prapa prapu Yes, mistake. Tatha vachan kritam apitam abhilashanti atyartha So the meaning is that just as they got the message through his eyes, Nainakrita. So they expected that he will also give message through his speech. And in that hope, they walked behind the chariot. But that did not happen. So they continue to walk for some time, waiting, expecting that he will say something. And then he did not say, but he sent message. And then they will come back. So I'll stop here if there is any question to ask. Okay.